Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and today I want to go over how the Bugatti Chiron might get retired, and also another expensive vehicle possibly getting retired or having to do with the live event. Yes, there's quite a lot to go on over in this video, so before we jump into it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So yes, you heard that right, the Bugatti Chiron actually might get retired because the CMO actually hinted about it on Reddit. And this is the Chiron right over here, people who are wondering, uh, it's right over here, it spawns at the jewelry store. So it started in r slash roblox jailbreak which is the official roblox jailbreak subreddit and it's from this user who says unpopular opinion the chiron needs a bodywork revamp the side profile is outdated and looks nothing like the real life chiron especially the famous bugatti c which is barely visible on the in-game model and guess what asimo replied to this specific user and said this over here Chiron is looking a bit dated. Reply. This is the official uh, SEMO. As you can see, he has like the Bademo badge or whatever. So it's the real SEMO, guys. Look at this. So basically, Asimo admits to the Chiron actually being a bit outdated. And for you guys, you might be thinking, hmm, well, you know, that, that's kind of true. I mean, it's two years old. And the thing is, Asimo's actually retired vehicles because he didn't like it. If you guys remember, about two months ago, the Airtail got retired. And it was spotted over here at the, the airport. And, like, it got retired because Asimo said he didn't really like the model. And it's quite surprising because the Airtail is like less than a year old and he still retired it and because he didn't like it. So Asimo's already agreeing that, you know, the model's a bit outdated. You know, it's two years old from 2020. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but there's an older version of the Bugatti called the Brulee. And it's basically this over here. I did show it off in the beginning of the video, so if you guys were paying attention. But this is the Brulee, and it is actually the best car in the game because it is the fastest car. And also, I would argue, the most respected car because it's an OG vehicle. It's been in the game since, like, the beginning. Like, since, like, June 4th, 2017, like, a month after Jabber was created, like, you know, it was out. So, yeah. But anyway, they retired it sometime in March 2020, and they replaced it with the Chiron, of course. And obviously, they actually made two separate versions. So, they have the OG one, which is the Brulee right over here. You can still drive it around if you own it. Um, but there's also the Chiron, because they want to actually keep the Bugatti in the game. So, they have a Chiron there for new people who were not able to get the Brulee. Now, obviously, the Brulee won't be coming back because if you go over to the garage it says limited so limited vehicles you know the only limited vehicle that seems sort of hinted that coming back is the m12 molten but not the brulee and obviously now the chiron is like two years old because it's march 2022 it's been two years since uh march 2020 and massimo is now thinking of you know sort of either revamping it or retiring it and obviously i would think he might retire it because you know i think this is like the only version yeah this is like the only time that asimo actually kept like an older version of the the model and uh put new one as a second one because this is like the og bugatti and you can still use it and uh, that's the new one so there's actually an old and new model that you can spawn and uh, yeah i don't think that's a thing in jailbreak that's like the only exception that comes with the bugatti which is pretty interesting they didn't even do that for the Lamborghini. Like last year when the Lamborghini was getting revamped, they did not retire like the old version and gave like a old version to the OG people that bought it. They just revamped it and gave it like a new upgrade. So the Bugatti comes with an exception. So I think they might retire. Like Asimo might retire it and give a separate version of the Chiron or maybe not. Maybe he'll just give a revamp. We'll see. But there's another vehicle that has a chance of being retired and this has been rumored. But by the way, keep the, in mind this is actually a rumor. It's not actually confirmed, but it doesn't make that much sense if you look at it and you might be considering why. It also has something to do with the live event too. It might have something to do with the live event. We actually have no idea, but it's rumored in the community right now. And that's of course is the monster truck. And you might be confused about it because you're going to be like, how's the monster truck have anything to do with the live event or being retired? Like no one's talking about it. You know, it's just the monster truck. So yeah, the monster truck spawns over here at the $1 million dealership. It's the first $1 million vehicle to jail break and it's right over here i mean a lot of you guys probably you know use it or something i don't know so basically everything started with this tweet over here from asimo he says here's a behind the scenes look at the edit for the 2022 event trailer and if you take a look inside you might be thinking oh yeah just editing you know as you can see there's a lot of stuff there's some sound effects you know, there's some cool stuff but if you take a closer look guys just take a little bit closer look can you guys spot it take a look at that new logo let me zoom in guys for you guys. So here we go. As you can see, new logo. 
jailbreak, as you can see. And you might be seeing like, okay, what's so good? It's a new logo, all right. But basically, look at this. This is jailbreak, right? As you can see, this is jailbreak. But if you take a closer look at the icon, you know, like the regular jailbreak icon, it has the monster truck, as you can see right over there, and the helicopter. However, if you go to the new logo, look, only the helicopter shows up. So that got a few people to believe like this person right over here says there is a new logo. And some people are thinking that the monster truck might get removed or retired. Now, obviously the monster truck is still in the game, but there's rumors that either a, as something to do with the live event, I have no idea what has to do with the live event, to be honest. Or secondly, it might get retired. Maybe Asimo doesn't well, like the monster truck or something. Asimo's not confirmed that yet, but it's a bit odd that Asimo will make a new logo just for the trailer and just show a helicopter. There no, there's no uh, monster truck, which is usually displayed as part of the logo. So that's a bit odd. Now, of course, these are just rumors, obviously. However, I do remember one thing about the monster truck. The monster truck did pull the alien crater all the way to the military base like a few years ago. You remember that? Uh, but I have no idea if that has anything to do with it, but that's the only thing I remember with the monster truck, you know? So tell me what you guys think down below if you have any ideas, but that's what people are saying. Anyway, in my opinion, the Chiron looks like a really nice vehicle. Like, I don't think it's outdated at all. I think the front of the Chiron looks like one of the best. It's called the Eclair, by the way. I've been calling it the Chiron the entire time. So people who are just used to like regular jailbreak names must be kind of uh, triggered at me for saying it's the Chiron the entire time. But it is a Chiron, all right, guys. But anyway, you, you can call it Eclair or Chiron. I usually like to call it by its actual name, but you know, Eclair it is. But I really, really like the front of the Eclair, obviously, because you know, I, I like it. I think it's one of the best looking in the game. So I don't really know why they're calling it outdated and stuff, but I really like the Eclair's front look. Now, here's the thing, if even if it gets retired and there's like a separate model for it, what do you guys think the value is? You know, like when trading comes, what do you guys think the value is? Well, you know, I actually have a Discord channel where people can discuss about trading and stuff and you can discuss the value or you can trade or, you know, secure trades. Anyway, you can come over to the trading Discord channel and check it out. As you can see, you can look at values and stuff. And uh, you can also go over here to the values channel. Basically, I made it a new channel because people were like discussing about the values and some people didn't agree. So I'm like, you know what? Isn't it a good idea to just make an entire channel based on people can vote? So yeah, I understand that some values are like a little bit controversial because some people think like, oh, hey, the torpedoes worth, you know, this much and the torpedoes worth that much, you know, the Bugatti's worth this much. A lot of people are like really, you know, just debating over the values and i'm like you know what why don't we just have a channel where everyone can decide everyone can use their voice by voting for what value they want it to be so that's the channel for it and yeah i know it's crazy because like the torpedo somebody offered the torpedo i think in my discord channel for like over like 50 million for it and i think that's overpay but some people think oh that's underpay so it's really up to you know the general community what does the community think the value is so that's why i created that channel so go ahead and go vote there and yeah go check on my discord it's down below in the description. Anyway, that's about it for all the retired vehicles that might be happening. I don't know if the <laughs> it's actually gonna. So that's about it for the Eclair and the monster truck getting retired or not. I mean, that's all the info we got so far. And I gotta say, the monster truck getting retired uh, is probably a bit of a stretch. I do not know why ACO made a new logo, but I don't think that necessarily means it's gonna get retired. Um, for, for the Eclair, it may seem to be getting a revamp or getting retired soon because Asimo has already hinted at that, but it doesn't necessarily mean it. He has not guaranteed that. He just said it was outdated. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Bye!